I start? Yeah, I am PR, Ambassador of the Republic of Korea. Um, we greatly appreciate the valuable support the vast majority of UN member states extended to us today. The, we feel enormous responsibility as a Security Council member, particularly as the world now faces unprecedented, complex uh, global challenges. The, our Security Council membership Our Security Council membership will enable the Republic of Korea to contribute uh, more significantly and more actively to the world peace and security. My president, the Yoon Sung Yeol, the has repeatedly emphasized the importance of universal values and the principles enshrined in the UN Charter as a basis for our diplomacy. And at the same time, assigned a high priority to expanding our, our partnerships with all countries, particularly the Global South. So in this context, we will give priority to four areas in the Security Council. First, peacekeeping and peace building. Second, WPS, Women, uh, Peace and Security. And third, cyber security. And fourth, climate and security. In addition, we are ready to deal with other significant regional and thematic Security Council issues, including counterterrorism and the long-standing DPRK issues, both nuclear and the human rights situation. In doing so, we will work very closely with all other Council members and all UN member states. We strongly believe that our seat on the Council will, will provide us with an excellent opportunity to further broaden and deepen our relations with all countries. Thank you very much. Yes, he said the same question than before, but this time to South Korea. You're talking about Global South, but in the Global South, there are countries like uh, Brazil, India, they want a Security Council permanent seat in the reform. So what do you think about it, and what kind of reform you would like to see in 2024? The Republic of Korea's position on Security Council reform has been clear and consistent over the last three decades. That we want to increase in, uh, only in non-permanent category. That we maintain uh, very excellent uh, relations with all uh, countries who aspire to be permanent members. But uh, we believe the Increasing permanent membership may reflect the international realities of today. I mean, any given point in time, like a snapshot. But we believe the increase in non-permanent membership uh, will reflect the, the international realities in the long term and contribute to the, to the viability and adaptability of the Security Council. So with, with or without veto, the, we oppose the increase in permanent membership. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Ambassador. My name is Toshi Inaba from Kyoto News, Japanese Newswire. You mentioned the DPRK file, and uh, there has been an inaction of the council for a long time. And uh, how are you going to break the, the impasse? And how are you going to work to make uh, cooperate the, the two countries the U.S. has been accusing of uh, that in action. Thanks. Uh, we sincerely hope that the Security Council will take action with one uni unified voice. The, because this is not just about geopolitics, but uh, about international law and also nuclear non proliferation regime itself. Uh, as you know, DPRK has violated the multiple Security Council resolutions the, in, in a very blatant manner. So, the, and also, the, we believe um, the North Korea's reckless pursue, pursuit of nuclear weapons and its totalitarian control of its own people, they are the two sides of the same coin. So we urge all council members to support the revival of Security Council public meetings on North Korean human rights situation with which 
Security Council remains seized. Thank you very much. One more question, uh, Ambassador.